Hey sir, it's Jenna. Um, I just wanted to make sure you're still coming over on Saturday to hang out. Jenna Sadu is a teenage girl who likes music, chatting with her friends on Facebook, and spending time with her family. He grows like a beard. Uh, Are you seeing with his beard? He grows the like Indian be beard. He's what? He's a manly man. I know he's a manly man. Jenna had a challenging start in life. She and her twin brother Devin were born premature. Well, Jenna, as a preemie, was born, I think, with the, the normal complications preemies have. So 29 weeks, so, uh, you know, 2 pounds, 10 ounces. So, you know, incubator, special care nursery, those type of things. But she came out of there, I think, relatively quickly. And then from then on was that normal, everyday, happy-go-lucky, athletic, outgoing, smart child. But at the age of 10, Jenna suffered a severe bleed on her brain and fell quickly into a coma. She spent six weeks at Children's Hospital and several months in rehabilitation. Jenna's road recovery was quite long. You know, out of Children's and Sunny Hill and community uh, brain injury stuff at home and physio and everything. And she's still going on. She still does physio. Uh, she had to work on her core strength because you got to remember when Jenna came home, she came home basically having to learn everything over again. She didn't speak for months. She uh, finally started speaking when she was at Sunny Hill with rehab, but it took a few months and um, she voiced her opinion and said, I want to come home. Oh my God. <laughs> Jenna continued her rehabilitation at home and learned to walk again without any aids and has just finished her first year at Kwantlen University. She has nothing but positive things to say about Children's Hospital. My doctor, Dr. Steinbach, was, he was really good. He explained things to me. He didn't just talk to my mom and dad about what was going to happen. He talked to me about it. And uh, I had a, a different doctor, Dr. Heron, doing my angiograms and stuff after the, after the surgeries. And he was really good. He explained things to me. He uh, asked me how I felt about things. And the, all the doctors and nurses were really good. They, they were funny. They, they talked to me. They, uh, they explained things. They were all really nice. They were great. You know, when you go to children, they don't just treat the child. They treat the entire family. So they, they know that, you know, you're apprehensive. They know your anxiety transfers to the child. So they're, they speak with confidence around you. They take you away from the bedside when they've got to speak something, you know, in confidence. But when they're in front of uh, Jenna, even when she was in a coma, spoke very positive to her, nurturing to her. Um, the thing you want as a parent is, I don't know what all these bells and whistles mean, but anytime an alarm goes off, somebody better be here right away. And they were there. You know, it's amazing, amazing. In Surrey, I'm Kendall Harris for Shaw TV. Anything in the paper doing nothing?